Let me come to you, Kaval Sibal, first. Do you believe that the, that the Modi government has struck a balance between expressing solidarity with Israel and now giving aid to the Palestinians? Or are we in danger in this diplomatic tightrope walk of falling off the rope? <clears throat> I don't think so. We have expressed solidarity with Israel on the terrorism issue. And we have expressed solidarity with the Palestinians because there is the larger question mm -hmm. of two-state solution, Palestinian rights, and the brutalization of the Palestinians all these decades, and what is happening on the West Bank, the expansion of uh, settlements, and of course, the violence by the settlers, by the extreme right-wing uh, Israelis. So it's, it, I don't think uh, the two are contradictory to each other, because mm -hmm. we don't accept terrorism, and we also have reservations about the disproportionate action by Israel currently to destroy large swaths of Gaza and force evacuation of a million and a half people mm -hmm. from the north of Gaza to the south with all the humanitarian consequences that follow. And therefore, Prime Minister Modi and government have taken the step to channel humanitarian aid uh, to Palestine, which is sorely needed, but this is a drop in the ocean. Mm -hmm. As was rightly said by the ambassador, before this thing erupted, there were four or 500 trucks going daily through Rafa. And now if you have 20 or 30 trucks going for a million and a half people who are evacuated and otherwise who are suffering because of shortage of, of because of end of water supplies and everything else, food, fuel, this is not going to meet the situation. But yes, mm -hmm. it is a gesture government of India has made. Finally, with regard to balancing, every country is trying to balance in a different way. The United States also, while fully supporting Israel, has cautioned Israel about not flying into a rage and committing the mistakes the United States did after 9-11, and also playing their role in, in, in uh, facilitating the opening of the Gaza, uh, of the Rafah border. Other countries also have their own way of balancing uh, the, the situation, supporting Israel, but at the same time supporting the Palestinian cause. I think we have done what we ought to do in, in this current situation. And it's not a question of balancing. It is actually doing the right thing by way of both sides. Right. On one side, support them against this terrible terrorist attack. And I'm very surprised that the, uh, that the ambassador of, uh, of Palestine absolutely refuses to acknowledge that Hamas has done a terror attack. In fact, Hamas has been governing this uh, territory. It has popular support. It may have declined over the years, but it has popular support. You can't totally distinguish between Hamas as pretending there's a foreign kind of a occupation of, uh, of, of uh, the West Bank. Of the, right. Uh, of I, I get Nara. your point. But you're saying, you're saying we've done the right thing. Casey Singh, have we done the right thing or is this a diplomatic tightrope walk? We started by expressing solidarity. The Prime Minister spoke to Benjamin Netanyahu. There were some reports that the Arab world wanted India to do more in terms of... Uh, uh, focusing on the plight of the Palestinian people who are being bombed. Uh, do you believe, therefore, there's been a course correction? Rajiv, we discussed it on your program the day it began on October 7. And I was saying that day that Prime Minister's statement was giving it uh, a one-sided slant and seemed to be a deviation from, a, from the traditional Indian position. Uh, now, if the Ministry of External Affairs had come out immediately after that uh, with their statement when they took a number of days to come out with that statement uh, to balance it and say that there are two sides to it, we won't be asking these questions. No, but, but with due regard, Mr. K.C. Singh, let's be fair. Prime Minister Modi on the first day was responding to a horrific terror attack. Now, you know, you don't no. expect him to then balance it out with Palestinian rights on day one itself. Well, the Chinese did it. The others did it. Yes, you can come out. No, I'm saying Prime Minister could have said what he said. But the Ministry of External Affairs didn't need to remain silent for four, five, six days after that. That is why the questions were raised. That has there been a shift in India's stand. Then once the Ministry of External Affairs statement came, they've been rectifying it. And we've gone back to more or less the old position. And I'm very glad that the humanitarian assistance has gone today. But this is not the end of the story because siege is not about to end. Uh, Israelis are making uh, exploratory forays. They've been held back by the Americans till now because there are three problems in this. The problems are that, and I think President Biden going there, he summed it up. He, you know, basically backed the Israelis very strongly, but he also was simultaneously saying that I understand your anger, but don't let your anger consume you. 
He says that's the mistake the Americans made after 9-11. And they paid with lives in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Iraq, and really didn't achieve anything. So what he's telling is right. What the Americans are doing are three things. They're trying to get the civilians out of harm's way. Mm -hmm. And that's why they held the Israelis back. So almost 600,000 people out of 1.4 million in northern Gaza have moved to southern Gaza. Then they got the southern route opened so that the humanitarian assistance coming there, the people will gravitate there. So create an area where civilians gravitate towards. And then you open the ground because they realize Americans ultimately can't stop Israel from going in. Because Israel has said elimination of Hamas uh, is uh, their absolute goal. Now, the mistake with that is that you can eliminate some of the leaders. The top leaders are sitting in Qatar. But you will radicalize the youth further because Hamas is not a group of people. It's a movement. And a movement does not get killed like, uh, you know, so, Taliban are back in Afghanistan. The Americans went to finish them. So, therefore, that is what the... Uh, and then the third problem is the Northern Front. Mm -hmm. So, the Americans have brought in their navy. They are putting pressure uh, to see that Hezbollah doesn't jump in. And as long as it remains a single, they'll probably give some time to Israel to go in and try getting the hostages out. In the meanwhile, we just got managed... We have just seen two hostages being given up by Hamas. Can but I... they will not, not give up more hostages because that's their human shield.